when I bought this I looked at the dimensions and it says 108mm by 92mm I think it was so 92mm is that bit so I thought well I could get rid of those uh, the, the, the mountains shave them off and then I can make it smaller this thing is going to be so tight anyway I went to fit it and it don't fit it's about 5mm too wide now the battery is going here the BMS is going here and on top of the BMS is my 12 volt DC DC blah the controller has got to go here but the only problem is it don't go in especially with the wires on there it's literally shoehorned in there's not going to be enough room to put a bloody Mars bar wrapper let alone a Mars bar look at that that's, that's how close this is it will go in but the wires are going to have to come out the top that goes in there the controller's going to go there and the DC to DC is going there you're not really helping you know can you learn to solder? on the outside of this I'm going to put some heat sinks which I've found <laughs> I don't know if you can see but down here we've got the positive terminals on the battery I've got about 10 millimeters between that and the controller over here we've got uh, the BMS there and that's me DC to DC I have got no room for anything else and I think I hope <laughs> I hope I've covered everything the only unfortunate part is the controller is here the wheels over here that's the only unfortunate part now I can't swap them over because the BMS which is there won't fit in there because there's two extra plates on the end I'm going to wire the BMS up now now all BMS's are they are the same I suppose the first wire goes to the battery negative in my case it's this terminal here which I'm going to use all these in the middle so that's the first one so that one goes to there and then you take the next one which is the first battery positive and in my case, mine goes to there. And then you take the next one, which is the next battery positive, and in my case, it's actually on the outside here. And then the next one is the next battery positive, 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 until you get right to the very end. And then that one's the, the, the last positive, which goes to the main battery positive. And then on these, you take the next one and you link it together. So those two there, those two will go to the battery positive and the rest of them aren't, aren't you so you can take them out cut them off well do whatever you want with them don't do it while it's bloody plugged in because you're going to end up in fire battery BMS that's done these wires here uh, these two go to each bank I don't know why I've put two on there I've just put two on there it don't, <laughs> it don't matter uh, they're going to be joined into one anyway. The controller's going over this side, so these wires are going to be very short anyway. This one here is for the DC to DC, which is going to go over on this side, so that's going to go over there. Obviously these are the negative ones which are going to have to go over here, which I've got to tape down, but I want to do that when it's in the, in the case in itself, in the chassis purely because of this thing because I don't exactly know where it's going to sit and I might have to butt the batteries up a bit closer sort of thing so that's that so that's all done and working cable management is done I need to get the chassis or the casing or whatever it's called I need to get that back up here so I can fit this in and then I can fit this in and then I can start the wiring although I do need to put the motor in first so as I can make sure that everything works and it doesn't throw any errors up uh, unfortunately I should have tested this first <laughs> oh dear why didn't I test it if it's broken I'm in trouble before I do that I've got to take the buzzer off this because I need it external because you cannot well it's virtually inaudible is that a word? 
you can't really <laughs> you can't really hear it when it's in the case especially in a in a in an aluminium case so i'm going to take the buzzer out of that and i'm going to extend it where i'm going to put it yet i don't know but i do need to extend it so i'm going to do that now You're not going to get much closer, <laughs> much closer than that. Everything <laughs> is so tight in there. The problem that I've got is you can see this is at full, um, full adjustment now, and the disc doesn't catch. If I put it on here now, it's not wide enough. So my only real option is to add another spacer on this side. And that should pull it out enough so as I can just splay it into place. I can't add any more on this side because that will pull that outwards even more, which will mean I can't adjust the disc anymore. We're on the critical point where I can't actually show you everything purely because of the size of it. I am using QS8 and the QS8. I'm using QS8 connectors purely because I don't want any loss and they'll fit. The bigger the connector the better. I want to put thicker wire on here but it's a bit dodgy soldering onto that. This is the controller here which is throwing an error up at the minute that you can see. That's basically meaning the whole sense uh, connectors aren't connected which they're not because the wheel's here and the connectors and wires and everything is here. So what I've got to do today is I've got to connect the motor to run it up. Now this is only temporary, there's nothing permanent on here at all, it's literally to get the wheel off the ground. I've got to cut the phase wires off here, I'm going to loosely wire them, just twist them together just to make sure I know what's what. Uh, the whole sense wires, I think I might do the same and put some insulating tape around them. Or I might be able to shove them in the holes there actually. Okay, this is the nervy part. So what I've got is... Um, let's turn that off. I haven't fired this up yet. So on here we've got the throttle, which are three wires. So you've got the black, the red and the green, which go to the corresponding wires on here. And over here... We have the kill switch, which is that one there, which is in manganese. And then here we have the whole sense wires, so you've got your positive and your negative. And then you always have, well 99% of the time, a yellow, a green and a blue, which go to the corresponding ones on the, on the phase, uh, sorry, on the motor, on that thing. And then we've got the three wires, which are the phase wires, which are the thicker ones. So you've got one going to green to green and then blue to blue and then yellow to yellow. Now I've turned it on just to make sure that these go to green but I haven't done anything with the throttle yet because I'm a bit nervy. So if I turn that on, that now goes to green. So it's done its self check and everything's perfect and now <laughs> wow, it turns. Oh dear. <laughs> I should have plugged that in all the way, shouldn't I? Holy motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, it needs tuning, it's a bit out of phase. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> um, yeah, with these things, don't just plug them into the first one, which is just the... You've got two stages on these things. 
your first stage which is the anti-spark which it literally goes through a resistor and then you've got your second one which is the main connector if you have it plugged in onto the first one all the, all the current goes through the resistor and I've just burnt it out by the looks of it. In the Kelly controller you've got two different throttles actually you've got three different throttles you've got one resistance and you've got two voltage throttles you've got one which is 0 to 5 volts and you've got one which is 1 to 4 volts so what I've had to do is if I can very carefully show you I've had to put these are, these are the throttle, the whole sense to the throttle. So I've got a positive, I've got a negative, and I've got a sense. That's the output from the whole sense. This one is the positive, and this one is the negative. So if you put a meter between there, disconnect the phase wires, switch the controller on, and measure the voltage, and then you'll, you'll see what voltage you're getting coming out of the throttle when it's got no throttle on it and then you open the throttle full and then you measure the voltage again while it's out on full and then that will give you the voltage of the throttle when you've got it full open now I found out I thought mine was 0 to 5 volts and it's not it's actually 1 to 4 volts so obviously, obviously I've got to um, set that in the software accordingly this is for my future reference and also for anybody else thinking about doing this I've just done the auto learn in the software and it's worked perfectly but the motor was turning forwards and now it's turning backwards so what I've done is I've swapped um, the yellow and the blue phase leads as you can see and also the corresponding uh, hall sense leads so now it's beautiful and smooth And the tyre needs balancing. The tyre itself is out on one side. On this side it's fine, but on that side it's a bit out. But it is so smooth, that is. So now I've got all that done, I can switch it off, I can unplug everything, and then I can start permanently wiring it. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to feed the phase wires or anything yet, but we'll get that to get to that one when we come to it. Oh,